Hey everybody, happy Friday. Let's see if I'm in the right place. One never knows. Let's see, oh yeah, there I am. All right, did I spell everything correctly today? I keep spelling Xenia wrong. Every week it's something with me I can't spell. All right, I hope you guys are having a good Friday. It is beautiful here today. It's sunny, a little bit windy, but gorgeous. Feels like spring, so we're gonna do a spring stamp set today. Hi, Elizabeth. Um, this stamp set, it's an online exclusive. I'm looking around for it. Where did I put it? <laughs> I don't know. It's on the tray over there. It's um, one of our online exclusives, looks like that. And it's a bundle. Um, I was typing the name this morning on Facebook and I you know, typed simple Xenia and I laughed because simple really doesn't describe this bundle. <laughs> it's got a lot of pieces um, and you'll see. I don't think simple Xenia is what it should be called. It should be called um, complicated. No, <laughs> complicated in a good way. I do really love it, um, but it does have quite a bit of pieces, the dies, um, which is my favorite part. Um, and then also coloring, so not, not so simple. But anyhow, uh, zinnias are something that grow around here pretty easily, so I'm pretty familiar with them. I'm not familiar with very many flowers, but those I know. All right, well, it's good to see you guys. Um, I am gonna switch you guys around. Um, I have some things to show you. Okay, let's see, here we go, ready? Let me switch you guys. I have new things to show you today. Let me move my mess out of the way. Let's see. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Let's make sure I don't hang up on you. All right. First things first. Let's talk about the new All-Star Tutorial PDF. Hold on. Let me move things around. Um, this came out on the first... It's uh, our All-Star Tutorial PDF. We had a blog hop yesterday. If you didn't check it out, make sure you go check it out. Um, I really, really do like this suite a lot. I didn't expect to love it as much as I do. Um, there's 12 projects in here, um, all featuring the rock and roll suite. I keep calling it the Rockstar Suite. I think the stamp set is called Rockstar. The paper's called Rock and Roll. Um, it's all the same. But anyway, you can get this for free when you spend $50 with me this month. Here's my project this month. There's 11 other projects in here, all video tutorials. It's also available in my PDF store if you're interested in it. Um, $15, that's for those of you that aren't gonna shop with me and you wanna just buy the PDF, it's over there. All right, so you have all month of March. You know, I was confused today when I was typing up March Club Create, I thought, March, it's not March. And I was like, yeah, it is March. You know, time's just flying. But yes, March Club Create is the rock and roll suite. Okay, um, let's look at Club Create for April. Today's the first day you can subscribe for the Club Create April kit. If you're already a Club Create subscriber, don't worry, you don't have to do anything. You're already subscribed. I'm trying to adjust things, make them look pretty on the screen. Um, this, this April kit features the Beach Day Bundle. I adore this bundle. Um, I love this bundle and then realized I didn't write it down anywhere in my plans. So um, when I was trying to really, I didn't like what I had picked for April anyway. And then when I realized that I didn't have this written down somewhere, I was like, oh my gosh, this is what we have to do for April. Um, summer is on the horizon. And so these are some fun summer projects. I love the little surfboards are so cute. So Club Create, this is your kit for April. If you are a member, remember you don't have to do anything. If you're not a member of Club Create, but you would like to get the April uh, Beach Day Club Create Kit subscription is now open. You have through April 7th and um, it's $45. It includes about $25 in product. Um, it includes five projects, PDF and video. And if you stay six months in a row, you get a $25 product credit from me. Um, you can quit anytime. You can sign up for one month and quit. You can sign up for two months and quit. You can sign up and stay forever. It's up to you. Um, there's no penalty if you, uh, you know, 
decide to just stay for one or two months. But I do reward you if you stay for six months in a row. This is what they look like. This is last month's Club Crate kit. And I come, um, I do my best to pack them nicely for you. Um, and you'll have everything that you need to create the five projects. Something on the tip of my brain there that I was going to say about this kit, and now I can't remember what it was. Oh, I know, the PDF. For those of you that just want the PDF, it is available now, my PDF store. If you click the Club Create tab at the top of my blog, um, it'll take you to my Club Create page, and there's a photo at the top that has this month's Club Create. There's details in there and the subscription link and the link for the PDF only option if that's what you want. Okay? All right, that is Club Create. Let's move that out of the way. All right, let's talk about online exclusives. So yesterday, was it yesterday? No, two days ago. Let's open up, let's open up the Stampin' Up! website. Um, a couple of days ago, and I can't see anything. Now I'm blind because I took down my little commenting. Um, Stampin' Up! released a slew of new online exclusive projects products so if you go to the stampin up website and you click those three little lines right there and then you click shop products and then you find online exclusives i know there's kind of a glare but i'm just trying to show you where they are on let's see what if i did like that on the um, website so the very first two things here are these two new kits that just came out yesterday and this one you guys is crazy adorable it's designed for kids and it's like a little game where you try to flip the ball into the cup you know what i'm talking about those little those i mean they're like as old as time you know the little ball and cup game well that that's what these are um there's like a fish uh, I think with a worm, a shark with a fish, a frog with a flight. Really cute if you have kids in your life that like to craft. That one's really good. And then this one is a card kit, Your Day to Shine. The card kit's 14 and the frog and friends kit is 12. But then as you scroll down, you're going to see all these new online exclusive products. Now, I am going to tell you that some of them are unorderable, including this darn Xenia bundle that we're doing today. I was supposed to do it last week. It, they said it was going to come in on Monday, and then now it's been bumped again. So, you know, sometimes it, we just have to go with it. So I apologize. It's unorderable. Hopefully it'll be soon. I'm, I, you know, I just have no control over it. It's just so popular. Here's the one we did last week filled with fun. Um, I'm going to show you... It's, I'm going to show you over here the products I have actually here, but I just wanted to show you where they are. The three little lines, and then shop products, and then online exclusives. You can also, there's also this thing if you click the three little lines, well, let's see, right here, what's new, all right? And then you can click new arrivals, and it'll show you the newest things first that are on the website. So just keep in mind that... Let me go back to Facebook. That um, we now have products that you will only find on the website. They're not in any of the catalogs. Okay, so let me show you. Um, first off, let's let's start with this one, the Latte Love bundle. Um, I have designed a class with this. It's this bundle, this fun paper, six projects. Um, you get these things called swirl dots, which I love, um, and then some of the polka dot ribbon. If you are interested in a class to go with a latte love, you can get it with the bundle. And when you buy the class for me and it includes the bundle, I'm always giving you the embellishment for free. So my class to go has several options. That's option one. Here are the prices. $82 that includes the 50 something dollar bundle, six projects, half a pack of paper, full pack of embellishments and a yard of ribbon and shipping um, plus the PDF. Option two is the option without the bundle for those of you that already have it because you will need the dies and the stamp set to make the projects. And that's $45, includes everything else, including shipping and the PDF. Option three is for my team, my uh, first level downline, get my class kits at a discount. This is $24 for you guys. And then the PDF only version is available in my PDF store already. Okay. All right. So that's one of the online exclusives you have until March 22nd to register for that class if you're interested. But let me show you the other products. Um, and again, yes, I know some of them are unorderable. 
I have no control over that. <laughs> I apologize. It's just the way things are these days. I was trying to order something else recently that not stamping up that was out of stock. It's just, it's just the way things go these days. Um, Magnolia Mood is a bundle that I think is unorderable right now or maybe low inventory. Um, really pretty. I haven't even opened the dies yet. Um, Encircled in Nature. And these dies are really interesting. I like, I like those trees. I like those a lot. All right, so that's one of the bundles. And then um, Drizzling Droplets has been another really popular one. Drizzling Droplets. If it's not in stock right now, it's coming back. You'll see it. It's coming back. If it's listed on the website and it says unorderable underneath, that just means that it's coming back. It's just out of stock. Happy Little Things is a stamp set. And then these little two little dies, we talked about these last week. This comes as a bundle. Um, you can, of course, buy them separately, uh, but they come as a bundle too. This is a great little, just a sentiment set with these cute little banner dies. In My Heart, um, it's a sweet set. If you like those hand-drawn, I know some of you really like those stamp sets. This is a really fun one, uh, Sweetly Scripted. It's like, you know, um, handwritten handwriting cursive <laughs> cursive yes some of us can still read cursive sweetly scripted uh, textured timber just kind of a texture stamp set filled with fun there's the one we did last week that one has dies with it and then pets and more which is a really cute one I just um, started my swap cards for next week when I am at on stage I am using this cute little guy right here so cute um, there's also um, these, these two embossing folders, what's it called? Fun patterns or something. They're the little embossing folders that will fit in your mini cut and emboss machine. They come as a two pack. Um, there's also this glimmer paper, um, berry burst, old olive and white glimmer paper. All right. Really fun. You can see those colors. And then the other things we're gonna use on our project. So I won't show you those immediately. You'll see those in a sec, but lots of choices. That latte paper is really fun. Um, the Xenia paper that we're gonna to use today is really fun. In fact, the Xenia paper is what I'm using for Club Create in April, and we're not using the Xenia stamp set. It's got some great patterns on the back side that, um, Okay, hold on, I, got, I can't stand when the lines are crooked. Let's see if I can fix this. Um, there we go. It, there's a delay, so I have to like turn it and then wait. Um, so the patterns, and I'm gonna show you that paper when we get started. The patterns on the backside are great. Um, they're not just flowers. They're, I mean, I used them for our um, beach project. So they're really cool. Pa paper you can use for other things. Okay, I think that's all of my announcements today. Let's see who won the prize for last week. It is Miss Sam Burnett. Sam, I have your mailing address. A fellow Texan friend, Sam Burnett. Thank you, Sam, for sharing the video. I will be sending you this bundle, Delicate Forest, in the mail next week. Thanks for sharing the video. So this week's prize is something that I believe is also out of stock. The fun Adoring Hearts hybrid embossing folder. It's got the folder and the dies. Remember when we did this around Valentine's Day? I think this has been out of stock for a while. So if you would like to win this, all you have to do is share the video either on Facebook or YouTube, and I will pick a winner in two weeks. Next week, there will be no Facebook Friday. I'm gonna be at Stampin' Up's on stage event in Houston. So there will be no Facebook Friday next week, but in two weeks, I'll pick a winner, someone who shares either on Facebook or YouTube, and I will send it to you for free. Okay, that is it. So today we're in that place I don't like to be, the place where I'm showing you a product that is out of stock. I really, really try to avoid doing this, you guys, because um, it's frustrating for me, it's frustrating for you, but I really had no other options this week. So I'm sorry, I apologize, but It'll be back. The Xenia bundle will be back. Um, right now, it says the week of March 25th, which I guess that's two weeks away. It was supposed to be the week of March 11th, and I guess there was a delay. Um, so 
If you don't have the Xenia bundle yet, just know that you'll be able to get it. And if you want the Megan Takes, you can order anything you want this weekend between now and Monday at midnight, as long as your order is over $35 and you use the host code, I'll send you the make and takes for free. And if you need that Xenia bundle, you can wait until it comes back in stock and order it, and then you'll have the make and takes ready to go when your bundle arrives, okay? Um, the make and takes look like this. I send you everything that you need. Um, the only die cutting I'm not gonna be doing for you are the, the dies, you, the Xenia dies. These, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, these Xenia dies, <coughs> I have a tickle in my throat. I don't know where it came from because I haven't had it at all and then suddenly it's there. Um, these zinnias have a lot of pieces, so you'll need to cut those yourself, but I will send you all the colors that you need for all the projects, okay? Um, we're also gonna use the embossing folder on one project. You'll need the embossing folder. And then of course the inks and the stamps, and we're gonna do some heat embossing too, so you'll need white embossing powder. Um, this is what they look like when they come, and I send them to you for free as a thank you for your order. There's lots of things to order right now, even if you can't order <laughs> the zinnias right now. Okay, let me grab our first tray. I hope you guys had a great week. Um, I'm getting excited. We have a Stampin' Up! event that starts on Thursday in Houston, so I'm not flying. I'm driving. It's only three hours away from here. And uh, we haven't had a big, our events have been different for a long time and we haven't had a big Stampin' Up! event in one place where we all go to the same place in a really long time. So I'm really excited about it. So those of you that are going, I can't wait to see you. It's gonna be lots of fun. Um, it's hopefully gonna be like old convention was. We used to have convention many years ago and it was awesome. So I'm hoping this will be reminiscent of convention. Okay, so let me show you the paper. Um, here's the first card that we're gonna make, and we're actually only using the paper on the inside right here for this card. But I wanna go ahead and show you the paper before we start, before I have a huge mess all over my desk. The paper I have used a lot in the last few weeks. We're, doing it for, we're using it for our team meeting on Monday. Um, we're using it for a team reward um, celebration we're having at the end of the month. I've used it for um, Facebook Friday this week. It's just really, really great paper. Um, you have these big pattern zinnias, but here are the patterns on the back also that you can use for other things. Um, this piece right here, and I do have some bonus cards to show you at the end, but this piece right here is really awesome because you can cut that and use that um, these little pieces as your card front. So. This is a popular piece. I've seen a lot of people using this. And then here's like a lemon lime twist, kind of like a lattice. And then a smaller print, a flower pattern with petal pink polka dots. This is probably my, well, no, this is my second favorite. I'll show you my favorite print in a minute. But monochromatic, I love monochromatic paper. I've got monochromatic on the other side. I'm guessing that's Poppy Parade. I should know this. Poppy Parade, let me look, Berry Burst, Blackberry Bliss, Florida Flamingo, Highland Header, Lemon Lime Twist, Lemon Lolly, Melon Mambo. It's does It says real red. I feel like it's more Poppy Parade. Either way, it's cute. Melon Mambo and reddish together. Then you've got this pattern. This is like the, you know, the stalks, the green stripe. This color combo is Old Olive and Lemon Lime Twist, which is not a color combo. Colors I would have put together, but they go great. Here's another smaller flower print. And then this is my favorite pattern, the purple stripe or the purple. I mean, I guess it's like a check, isn't it? Kind of like a gingham. So that's what the paper looks like. Even if you're not into flowers or like, I don't need any more flowers. Guess what? The backs. I mean, I designed beach projects with the other patterns. So don't dismiss it if you think you don't need flowers, because I'm telling you those patterns on the back are pretty awesome. All right, let me get my machine and let's get started. So this bundle, like it seems like I've said this every week lately, this bundle has two ways for you to make the zinnia. You can stamp them or you can paper piece them, which means you cut them out of cardstock, different colors, and you piece them all together to make your your flower, and that's what we're gonna do here. Um, this was the thing I wanted to do right away. As soon as I got it, I wanted to 
start cutting out all these layers. And I've got a, like I've got some tips for you, okay? Let me show you all the pieces that you're gonna need. Um, I am using garden green, so I've cut two garden green stems, which is this piece right here. Then you're gonna need three of these. And I think that these, I don't know what you call these, but it holds the smaller little buds, all right? So it's a little bit of a stem where the bud is gonna poke out, okay? So three of those from garden green. Then we've got a bunch of leaves. So one, two, three, four, I think maybe five, four or five garden green leaves, and then four, three or four lemon lime twist leaves, all using the, the leaf die right here. Then we're gonna make two flowers that are exactly the same, okay? They're gonna have the cherry cobbler background, which is this right here, and then it's gonna have um, melon mambo, and pumpkin pie. And so you have these two different flowers right here and they're not exactly the same. I think this one right here that has kind of the little shorter legs goes in front, but I, I honestly don't think there's a wrong or right way. I think you could get away with either one, but I cut the pumpkin pie out of the one with the little shorter legs. So melon mambo, pumpkin pie, and then this right here, this piece, is that right there. It looks like a little flower headband. That's what I keep thinking. And I cut that out of Daffodil Delight. We'll piece that together. And then these two right here, at first I thought these were the flower centers, but these are actually the buds right here, the flower, the little buds, okay? And so you're gonna cut, uh-oh, I'm already missing. Am I missing my two pumpkin pie ones? Okay, well, good. I need to cut something out to show you what I, I um, my little tip for you. Um, so let's do that. One thing, and I haven't done this in a really long time. Um, one thing that I used to always do with my die cuts is use a dryer sheet. When you're cutting out a lot of pieces, a lot of times, and, and specifically with pieces like this that are uh, solid, the paper will kind of get stuck in the die and you have to use your piercer to get it out. One thing that you can do is get a dryer sheet. And and I don't I don't like using the good dryer sheets, you know, like the expensive ones. I like the ones from the Dollar Tree. And you put the dryer sheet down, and then you put your cardstock down. All right? And then you get your pieces and you put them down on the cardstock. And then you run it through. And the dryer sheet is just a little bit sticky. Sticky enough, usually, to where it will hold the cardstock there. Now that one didn't do it, but for the most part, when you take your die out, the um, paper will stay stuck to the dryer sheet. Sometimes, depends on how tight your uh, cut and emboss machine plates are, Sometimes you might want to double up on the dryer sheet, make it a little bit thicker. And if the dryer sheet does that, you can just peel it off, okay? So it's not going to add any stick to your pieces, but it's just barely sticky enough that normally when you run your die through, the, the cardstock will stay stuck down to the dryer sheet and the die will just pop off. So you don't have to do all that poking. All right, so you want to do those two in um, Melon Mambo and Pumpkin Pie. So Melon Mambo twice, Pumpkin Pie once. And there's one that's like a little bit whiter than the other, and that's the one I put in the back. And I am going to glue the other one that's just a little bit smaller on the front like that. You definitely want your take your pick tool um, because you're gonna to need to move them around and using your take your pick tool is a lot easier. The last tip I have for you is something that I didn't do. Um, these are skinny. Did I lose one of my, um, <laughs> is it stuck to the bottom of my machine? It is. Um, because these are skinny, they're gonna be a little bit harder to glue, right? So you can put an adhesive sheet on the back of your cardstock before you cut it out. So that then when you cut it out, it turns your this piece into a sticker and you just peel off that backing and you can adhere them 
and you don't have to worry about making a mess with a glue like I normally do. I'm pretty messy, you guys know me. All right, so I'm gonna glue those two like that. I'm gonna, we're gonna trim that bottom one off in a minute. Let's put these together. We'll do Melon Mambo, that's the bottom one's Cherry Cobbler, Melon Mambo, Cherry Cobbler, and Pumpkin Pie. Is the PDF up? You guys checked. Um, there's a PDF on my blog that should have the supply list and measurements. I um, was having major computer issues last night while I was trying to type this up. My computer was telling me, first it was telling me that there was another device using my IP address. <laughs> and I was like, okay, excuse me, what? And it was like, you need to change your IP address. Some Another device is using your IP address. Well, I don't know enough to know what that means. So I was like, okay, that's weird. And I tried to like dismiss it. And then I have this software, like a cleaning software that popped up that said there was malware on my computer and it couldn't delete it. So then I was kind of panicking. This is all while I'm trying to type this PDF up. My DDM, his name is Chad. He's amazing. He works at Stamping Up. He is like Mr. Technology Guru and he will help me anytime I have computer problems. It's not his job to do that, but he will. He always is so willing to help. So of course I text him and he's, I know he's like snickering on the other end, but he was, you know, like this girl doesn't know anything about technology, but he didn't say that. No, he's very kind. And he helped, he was like, don't worry, just do this and do that. And then boom, it was, it was working. So I tell you that just to say, if things are missing from the PDF, now you know why. And in that, in the middle of that, I also had to drop off the child for basketball. And then, but y'all, basketball practices from 8 to 9.30 p.m., I mean, 9.30 p.m., I'm normally already in bed reading or whatever. And I have to go like 40, it's like 35 minute drive. So all of that, that while I was typing the PDF. So I apologize ahead of time if there's anything you find that's missing. I cannot guarantee it is 100% accurate. I know, Karen, he is the best. I've known Chad for a long time before he was a DDM. Uh, many years ago, if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you might remember many, many years ago, they were doing, they did, a, for a few years, they did catalog premieres at movie theaters. Do you guys remember that? And we would go to the movie theater and um, we'd watch them do like the catalog reveal. Well, he was the person that came to San Antonio for one of them and I was like the local contact. I don't, I don't remember what it was, but I worked with him. And I mean, this was when I was still teaching. So that was over 10 years ago. He, and that was before he was a DDM. He was just working. I think he was, I think he was doing technology at that time, but we've known each other for a long time. And now he's my DDM stands for demonstrator. Now I can't remember what it is. I was just going to tell you demonstrator develop manager. And they, we all, everybody has one in their area and he's been in my area ever since. I don't know. It's nice to have a nice person to work with, isn't it? Okay, so I have attached our little stem stem bud holders, if you will, and I'm going to slide our little buds behind there like that. So you guys can see already the name Simple Xenia. It's not very accurate. <laughs> How many pieces have we used so far? One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Okay, and now we're doing the leaves. So the word "simple," I'm I'm thinking, is in the eye of the beholder. I don't know. I I think it needs to be called over the top zinia, maybe bougie bougie zinia. <laughs> simple is inaccurate. But you know what? I don't like simple. I like over the top. All right, I'm just taking my um, leaves. I think I am missing one garden green leaf. I know, right, Kimberly? Simple, LOL. I would not call this a simple stamp set bundle, but that's why I like it. I like complicated. I gravitate towards complicated. All right, and we've tucked those leaves in. That looks pretty good. 
Um, let's get some scissors, some paper snips, and then we're just gonna trim, doop, right there, trim those off. Isn't that beautiful? Doesn't that get you excited for spring? Our, our little yard guy came by today. We walked through, you know, my yard is still like, I mean, it's a yard, but it's still like, this was like a thickly, heavy, heavily wooded area before our house. And so we're still like trying to turn it into like some landscaping. And he came today and we talked flowers and plants and I'm getting excited. I like, I'm not, I'm not good with plants. I need somebody else to do it for me. I just am not but he's good, he's fast, and he's cheap, which is the best part. All right, now, back to what we're doing. I'm sorry, Nancy, it's freezing. I would recommend closing out of Facebook, completely close it, and open it again. Sometimes that helps. And then if not, then I just blame it on solar flares or something, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I have to ask my tech person. Um, yes, Elizabeth Black Thumb, me too. I mean, well, okay, Elizabeth, in our defense, down here in South Texas, it's really hard to grow a lot of things because it gets so hot so fast for so long. So, I mean, I think if we lived somewhere else, maybe our thumbs wouldn't be quite so black, right? This is the um, Xenia 3D embossing folder that has dimensional backings all over it. And if you've never noticed... Our embossing folders have this line to help you make it straight. All right, so I'm gonna take the front of my card and just slip it in here and line it up with that line like that. I don't, well, I guess this one, you probably don't want it to be crooked. Sometimes I'm like, does it really, does this one, is it important for it to be straight? You know, sometimes it's kind of an abstract pattern, but um, because it's 3D, I took off all the plates, so we just have plate one and plate four. And we'll run it through. All right, let's see. There we go. And you can decide, do you like the debossed side or the embossed side? We're not gonna see a whole lot of it on this card, so it doesn't really matter, but I tend to gravitate to the back, to the debossed side. What about you guys? I don't know, I always tend to really like the, the backs. Okay, we're gonna soften it up a little bit with a piece of vellum. Okay, I'm just gonna stick that there. I'm not gonna worry about the adhesive because we're gonna cover that up. Now let's get our simple zinnia. Maybe it's called simple because zinnias are simple to grow. You just throw those seeds out there and those zinnias will grow. Like me and Elizabeth, you have a black thumb, they will still grow. They're simple. <laughs> All right, it's, um, I put this, by the way, I don't think I even told you, on a postage, basic white postage rectangle. Those are my favorite dies right now. And then we're gonna just put a piece of basic white on the inside, like that. I've been trying to step it up with the inside of my cards lately because I'm always wowed by other people who fancy up the insides of their cards. And I'm like, you know, Erica, you should really do that too. So I've been trying to do that. Even if you just did that, even if you just added a piece of white on the inside, that is pretty fancy, which I don't always do. That's like base level fancy. <laughs> you go buy a car, that's the base level. You, you, wanna, you wanna up it a little bit, you add a strip of paper and you add a die cut. Do you ever think about putting a die cut on the inside of your card? dimensionals on the inside of your card. That's that's pretty much next level fancy. That's the gold package of card making. <laughs> we went car shopping last weekend. So I am, I you know, they have so many levels, so many levels. And, and I don't ever understand the difference between gold and silver and sport and Excel and you know, like just, I don't know, they make it so complicated. All right, so that is one of the little hexagonal shapes from the nested essential dies. Second largest, no, second smallest. And I stamped it in Melon Mambo. That's a great saying too. Words fail to express my gratitude. Last but not least, guess what? Another thing that is out of stock. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't, don't flame me. I can't help it, it's so popular. These little sequins, 
These, these guys are out of stock for a while, till April. Yeah, I know, but guess what? We have a lot of different sequins. So if you need sequins, I was looking and I think that even the adhesive backed discs, you know what I'm talking about? They were in the holiday catalog, they carried over. I think those would go really well with this if you don't have these die, I mean these sequins. And there you go. Three very, very simple cards. Simple stamping right here <laughs> at its best. Very simple. Thank you guys. I'm glad you like it. Okay, what did I miss? You usually want to miss, mess up my stamping. Oh yes, absolutely, Catherine. You mess up your stamping, it's the opportunity for embellishment, either with an embellishment or a die cut, a banner, right? Stamp your sentiment on a banner and put it right over. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, let's make the next one. Let me grab it. Um, this one, and funny enough, I looked back on my blog to see what kind of seed cards we've made. And this one we've made, and it was actually almost exactly a year ago that we made this kind of seed card where it lifts up. I was, you know, flowers on the brain last March too. So that's what we're gonna do. It's a really easy um, way to make a card that holds seeds. All right, let's do the little card part first. And these seeds, by the way, are at Dollar Tree. The problem is finding, they have like this giant box of just seeds. Pumpkins, daisies, uh, snap peas, you know, everything under the sun. So you have to like, da -da 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 -da, like, till you can find the zinnias. And I was only able to find four. And so for my team meeting on Monday, we're using these for a different project. And I was able to find them on Amazon for pretty cheap. So I linked that today on my blog post. If you don't wanna have to go to like five different Dollar Trees to get as many zinnias as you need, you can order them on Amazon. They're, I don't think they're quite as cheap I think maybe they're like 50 cents or something, but you can check it out. Okay, also, my, my Stampin' Up! stapler, I had two of them and they both have finally kicked the bucket. So here's my old, boring office stapler. You're gonna need your stapler, okay? So here is old Olive. Let me straighten up my score lines. Um, the measurements are here on the PDF. Four and a, four and a fourth by 11, score at one and three fourths and seven and a fourth, okay? Like that. And then you're just gonna take your stapler and you want to staple as close to the edge as possible. You're, that You need to leave enough room for this next part that slides in and out, okay? So this part right here is lemon lime twist. Again, interesting color combination, right? I would never put these two together, but boy, they go together really well. Um, this piece is three and three fourths by seven and a fourth. Score the long side at one fourth. And I'm looking at my notes, five and a fourth. So that quarter inch, you're gonna fold backwards. And you're gonna, it's gonna, when you know, when you open it, I gotta make sure my measurements were off yesterday. Okay, yeah, that's right. When you open it, that part's gonna pull up. I'll show you. You're going to staple again, right? Staple, staple. That's the pocket for your seeds. So put your seeds in there. Put your staples on the very edge, otherwise they're not gonna fit. And then get your tear and tape. Put that there. And we're gonna tuck that in. Let's see if I can do this. We want it to go in the center like that. So, I don't know, can I close it all the way? And then, yes, okay, let's do that. <laughs> Sorry, I had, to, I had to work that out. Tuck it in like that, okay? You've got your adhesive right there on the quarter inch part right there. And then just close that like that. And then it, well, hold please, rewind. Let's try it again. Press your adhesive in really well. And then it pulls up like that. See how that works? Like that. Now you've got this gap right here. So to solve that problem, I have cut a uh, lemon lime twist scallop border. So we will adhere that to the inside so that it will overlap like that. Let's trim it off because it is not the right width. All right, and now let's do some of the DSP. Here is that stripe, designer series paper stripe. 
We're gonna put that right there. And then we'll put the other piece right here. Uh, so Karen, you're gonna make 50 swaps. I only made 24. You know, okay, here's what happens to me, you guys. I make swaps and then when I get there, I don't wanna swap. <laughs> I don't want to give my cards away. What is wrong with me? I'm like, oh, I'll just take them back and I'll use them as birthday cards. I don't, it's like my little babies. I can't give them away. I, I, now I make myself, but that's like my, my human nature, the tendency inside my heart. It's like, don't give them away. <laughs> I don't know why. Do you guys feel like that when you swap? Like, oh, I don't know. I'm dumb. All right. Sending flowers and thinking of you. Can I... Can I get it straight? Let's see. Ooh, pretty good. All right, we're gonna adhere that right across kind of where that meets right there. Um, Stacy 12, um, yeah, Gail, you know what? I'm always like, you know, I, usually the way I do swaps is I, I design the card and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna save this for like a Facebook Friday or whatever. And then I take the rest, but then I don't know why. I mean, why do I even need those cards? I have a bazillion cards here, but something in me just gets very like possessive of my cards, <laughs> which is ridiculous because I love getting other cards. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm, I'm, I'm weird that way. Okay. So I just stamped that in Melon Mambo on a little strip. The whole point of swapping is to give your cards away and come back with 50 other cards, right? Who wants to come back with 50 cards of the same thing? No, you don't. Okay, Randy, you made 500, 500? Holy cow. Well, come find me, Randy. We'll swap, I promise you. <laughs> I will give you one of my, my 24. I'm only making 24. My very first convention, I made a bunch. I think I made like 100, 150. That was a lot for me back then but I can't even fathom 500. That is a ton, but good for you. That's amazing. It's a good way to use up your stuff too, right? Okay, so for these cards, we're doing exactly the same thing, just different colors. Um, the back solid flower is gorgeous grape, and the, the second layer is Highland Heather, and then the third layer. Randy, did you have help making all of those um brandy yeah i was pushing it at 24. i actually was like you know what maybe i'll just pull cards down from in here and just take those to swap so i don't have to make anything but then i went through that whole same thing oh i don't want to give that one away no i don't want to give that one away <laughs> so dumb i mean what am i going to do with them i got so many i can never possibly use them all all right, layer that. Make sure that your petals are offset. I don't know if I said that last time, but kind of twist it, you know, so that the pink ones are in between the purple ones. Um, that's a lot of swaps. That are, now, here's my question too, Randy. Are they different sets, like 100 of one, 100 of another, or are they 500 of all the same? Oh, she says, I spent weeks in my craft room and didn't come out till they were done. I am super impressed, Randy. Like, wow, that's amazing. That is really amazing. What stamp set did you use? <laughs> Brandy, you feel the same way? Okay. Yes, I know. Why is that? I mean, what's the point if we're not going to give our cards away, you guys? What's the point of making cards if we're not giving them away? You know, when um when we when i used to do a card class here we would make two of each one that way you would have one to keep for yourself and one to give away you know like send because sometimes we just love our cards so much we don't want to give them away i get that but if you have two or 50 or 500 <laughs> hopefully you will feel differently although i don't i feel very possessive of my card which is so dumb Okay, let's put these on with dimensionals. I'm gonna put the dimensional right in the middle so that we can squeeze in our, our leaves. Um, the Latte, the Rockstar, a cow, and others. Wow, Randy, I am so impressed. I bet that was fun. I bet you binge watched a lot of shows too. They, they, Nidia, they are little works of art. They really are. Oh, I didn't mean to put glue on this yet. Okay, hold on. Well, we'll go ahead and put this one here. I wanna show you what I did differently with these leaves. 
Um, there's another die in this set. Let me find it right here. They look like antlers, okay? These are the veins for your leaves. And this time for these, I did put adhesive sheets on the back and cut them out. Um, I wanted to show you how it's so much smarter to do it this way. Um, so you just peel off the backing and then you can just stick it right to the leaf. And like this, it almost is, serves kind of the same purpose as the dryer sheet. They, they all just stayed stuck in there, which I liked. I didn't have to poke them out of the die. All right, let's do this one because this is not where I wanted to put that. Let's see. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to now that that glue is there. Um, <laughs> Becky says, I've been hoarding cards for so long, but with getting ready to move, I need a downsize so I have so I don't have to pack them. I donate them to the military. That's good. Yeah, that does feel good. You're right. You know, what I do, my uh, assistant, Denise, I will hand her a box of cards and she packs them for me in like packages of 10. Because if it were up to me, if I had to package the pack, packs of 10, I would be like, oh, no, I want to keep that one. No, I want to keep that one. Oh, no, no, I need to keep that one. She can do it without the emotion. She can go through there for me and pack them up and not feel like, oh, I can't give them away. I'm glad I'm not the only one that feels that way. Um, Joan, it's not sold out. It's just out of stock. It's coming back. It is coming back. It was supposed to be back the week of March 11th, which is this following Monday. But now it's saying the week of March 25th. Sometimes that changes. So keep checking the website. It'll come back. It was so popular during pre-order. I mean, that's just what happens with these awesome, awesome, awesome stamp sets. All right, now let's take this, the little bud, and slide it. You wanna slide it behind that little green part. You guys know what I'm gonna do right after we're done? I'm gonna go take a nap. I mean, doesn't a Friday afternoon nap sound really good? When I got home from picking up the basketball child, 10.30 at night, I fell into bed and could not go to sleep. Why is that? I was literally awake till like 1, 1 1.30. I was reading and then I tried to go to sleep and I couldn't and then I'd read some more. So now today I feel like hungover because I'm old and I usually go to bed at 10. Oh, I made a real big mess there. Let's see if I can fix that. I, okay, my husband and I have gotten laughing. We've gotten, okay, we like to go to bed early. We just do. And not that we go to sleep, but we like to lay in bed and read and, you know, look at Instagram. And there was this comedian that we saw the other day on Instagram or whatever. He said that, Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to butcher it. But he said something like nine o'clock is the gateway for early bedtime. I don't know. It was funny. He said, once you start going to bed early, like if you start going to bed at 10, then nine 30 starts looking good. And then nine starts looking good. Then you're, you're like, maybe I'll go to bed at eight 30. And we just laughed because that's how we both feel. Our girls are like, why are y'all in bed? It's nine o'clock. It's just nice to go to bed. And I mean, you know, get in the covers, read, do whatever, especially in the winter, you know, when it gets dark early. Do you guys like to go to bed early? I bet some of you are like, no way. I stay up every night to, till two. When I had little kids and I was working, I would do that in the summer, stay up real, real late. So that was only quiet time, right? Um, this bow right here is from the Ribbon Duo Combo Pack. It has the lemon lime twist and the petal pink ribbon in the pack. Really good ribbon. The petal pink, now I will tell you, I don't use petal pink very often, but that petal pink ribbon you can color with Stampin' Blends. If you take like Melon Mambo and color it, you flirty flamingo, totally changes the color of that ribbon. Just a little tip. All right, and again, don't throw cold water on me. I know they're unavailable. Blah, blah, blah. I've told you five times already. I know, I'm sorry, I can't help it. Put some sequins on here when they come in stock. Get them. 
I think that once these come in stock, they're going to be there for a long time. These are going to be, these are going to be around for a while. They're really good. Really good colors, bright and fun. Okay. There's your seed card for spring 2024. Go get your Xenia packs from Dollar Tree or order them on my, using my link to Amazon. Easy. You want to simplify, just put one flower there. Um, <laughs> Lisa, 830. I know. You know, what's funny is my husband and I'll look at each other and, and he'll say, God, it's only 8.30 or it's only 8.15. I'm like, I know. Why does it feel so late? I know. Oh, I, I wish I could stay up late. I've always been a sleeper, go to bed early kind of person. Always. But I wish I could, you know, stay up late all the time. Um, 9, 9.30, Karen. I tell you, it's the winter. I think the winter really does it. Because it gets so, you know, it gets dark at like 5 or 4.30, depending on where you live. So by 8 o'clock, my gosh, it's been, it's like half the night, you know. <laughs> okay, there's our second card, you guys. I hope you like it. It's a little bit of an alternate type card. Now, the next one, we're going to actually use the stamps, okay. And I will tell you, um... This stamp set, and I love the color with stamp and blend, but this stamp set is, uh, again, simple is not the word I use for this, for the, the stamp even. Um, we're going to do re um, emboss resist on this, and I think it's an easier way to color. This card I showed you earlier, I did use stamp and blends to color. It's not difficult, but it is tedious, and it does take you some time. So if you needed to do like a bunch of these, right? this would be a faster way. Okay. All right. So emboss resist. Have you guys done emboss resist before? It's where you emboss your image and then you just watercolor over it and the image kind of shows through. So we're going to use white embossing powder. Um, I've got watercolor paper and we're going to use white embossing powder. Versamark. This is the, um, embossing additions kit. I highly recommend. It has all the special tools that you need. I'm going to rub it with the embossing buddy. It removes static cling so that the crystals won't stick. Not crystals. The granules won't stick to where you don't want them. Versamark is a clear ink. Okay. I'm going to get it nice and juicy. And then we're going to stamp it on here. You're going to, you're not going to see anything. Think Magic, what was it we used to say when we were kids? Magic ink, um, mystery ink. It's kind of like that. Um, you guys, okay, do you see what's happening right here to my ring? This is a nice ring. I've told you guys this before. This ring is sterling silver, but sometimes it turns my other finger black. Why is it doing that? This is, if you know James Avery, this is a James Avery ring. It's nice, it's not junk. But it keeps doing that to me. Does anybody know why it would do that? I'm irritated with it because it, you know, shouldn't be doing that. All right. So that was just a little commercial there for a plea for help. <laughs> um, I just noticed it. I'm like, oh, it looks like a bruise, but it's not. Okay. So you guys probably still can't see that, right? Still can't see it. White on white. Now, take your... Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to get my, so I don't knock this over. Take your heat tool and we're going to heat this up. Takes your gun about 10 or 15 seconds. Nancy, I know it's got to be something in my body. And I think I was trying, because it doesn't happen every day. Iron, Joan, really. Interesting because, you know, I'm low on iron and I've started taking iron supplements but it's been going on for a while. Hmm. But it doesn't happen every day. So why? I was thinking maybe it was like when I used hand sanitizer or trying to make some kind of connection, but so far I can't make any kind of connection. Like today I haven't used hand sanitizer. Maybe I should take it to them and ask them why their not cheap ring is doing that to me. Okay, still you can't see it. So here's the thing that you need to do. You need to get in the light, 
okay? You're gonna really need some good light for this. And um, also, get your stamp set so you can see what you're doing. Um, we're gonna start with Melon Mambo, and I like to squeeze the ink on my case. You can also get your clear block and stamp it on there and use it like a little palette. So I'm gonna get the water. Oh, do I have a paper towel? I don't. Okay, hold on. Stay there. Hold on. Okay, just in case. All right, so you want a pretty good amount of water in there. And then slowly, you're gonna go over your flower. And you might have to turn your paper in the light to really be able to see where that flower is. Okay? And I'm gonna go around the outside of it. I'm not really worrying too much about the inside. But what I don't want is to color the stem Melon Mambo, okay? So now we'll come up here and we'll do this one. And it just kind of appears. The embossing powder is resisting the ink so that you're only seeing the white where you've embossed the image. And it, it's gonna stay white. Right, right here is where it gets a little tricky. So go slow and try to turn your light real bright so you can see what you're doing. Okay, so now I like to pick up a little bit more and just kind of drop it in so it'll be a little bit darker in some of the areas like that. Let me dab that one a little bit, there we go. Okay, so there's the pink. Oh, let's see. So they get it up here. And I'm gonna make them connect too. Okay, now clean your brush really good. I'm gonna set this over here. And let's get the other color, Garden Green. Um, lavender lotion or spray to help fall asleep on those nights. You know what, Nancy? I really don't normally have trouble sleeping. My doctor always asks me, are you having trouble sleeping? And I'm like, not yet, because <laughs> I, I feel like it'll probably happen at some point. But for whatever reason last night, maybe because I was up so late, my body was like, oh, it's, okay, is this what we're doing tonight? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't have, you know, I drove for like an hour and a half, picking her up, bringing her home. I don't know. But lavender, I, I, probably should get some of that just for the future. All right, now here, you don't want these colors to really mix, so you might wanna wait till it dries so that they don't really, you know, run together. And then again, pick up the color and just kind of drop that darker color there in the leaves. My oldest child has been in Big Bend National Park leading a backpacking group down the Rio Grande River in a canoe. <laughs> I don't know whose child she is, not mine. Um, she gets it from her father. And I just heard from her yesterday. She texted me, we survived. Cause they, you know, when they do that, they're out of service. Like I don't get to, and I can't like text her and be like, are you all right? Did you get eaten by a bear? Like nothing. It's very weird as a mom. All right, there you go. Emboss resist, easy. A lot easier than trying to color and shade all those little petals. All right. She did, Gail, she did the exact same thing. Um, she did Big Bend in January. She did it last year. She does, she now, as an upperclassman, she's leading the groups. She, she's crazy, that girl, I tell you. Yeah, she loves to do, I mean, living on the land. Like, there's no showers or bathrooms. There's no, like, breakfast buffet. <laughs> that girl, she's amazing. Her mother, it does, she does not take after her mother. Okay, now... I did all that and I forgot to emboss our sentiment because I'm just chatting. So let's get that done. The other thing we need to do is do a little bit of a wash here on um, this is another postage rectangle cut from um, watercolor paper. Okay, let's get the, I 
moved the water over here. It's pink. I hope it's not too pink. What did I do with the, the brush? Where did it go? Right here. Let's see if we can clean it really good because we don't want a pink background. Well, we may end up with a pink background. All right, let's see. And I'm just gonna take, this is um, um, soft sea foam. And I'm just gonna kind of do like a, like a little bit of a wash there in the background. Just, just a little wash. All right, let that dry. Set that aside. And let's emboss the sentiment really quickly. Versamark again. This time we're gonna do it on uh, Garden Green right there in the middle. Thank you so much. Again, with the white. Sprinkle, I don't know what happened. I used to have a spoon in here. I don't know what happened to it. My um, embossing powder, I think I need to start over. I've got some unidentifiable things in there, some little, some little specks of things that are not white. So I think it's, <laughs> I think it's time for me to dump it out and start over. Oh, did I not use my embossing buddy? You guys, I've got, I've got stuff where it's not supposed to be. Okay. Let's use the reverse tweezers. I like these things. Ah, uh, it's a little bit messy. I wasn't paying attention. Didn't do my best work. I'll throw it in the swap pile. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Okay, now we gotta bring back all these plates. Okay, and this we're gonna cut out with a small tailor-made tag die. Don't you love these tailor-made tag dies? They've been around for a few years. I hope I hope they don't retire. Hey, speaking of, if you have ordered from me in the last year, I'm gonna send you an email in the next few days asking you if you want an annual catalog. Because a lot of you who order from me are demonstrators. And if you're a demonstrator already, Stampin' Up! is gonna automatically send you a catalog. So you don't need one from me. But if you are not a demonstrator and you're a customer of mine, is this dry? All right, good. Then you do need one. And I'm gonna ask you to click on a link and tell me, yes, please send me one. All right, so be on the lookout for that. Maybe, maybe I'll do it Monday, all right? Because I am only gonna send you a catalog if you tell me you want one. It's an expense, and it's an expense I don't mind. I just don't wanna be wasteful, you know? Like, I don't wanna just mail them to 100 people who are already getting them. That's, you know, that's wasteful. But if you are a customer, and you're like, yes, please, then I will be more than happy to send you one. Okay, let's bring all this back. Um, of course, I can't go one Facebook Friday without flicking some ink. This is um, soft sea foam, dark stamp and blend, and I'm just flicking some ink on there. And then we'll take our dimensionals and we'll put our zinnias. And you, if you guys um, Google, almost said Zoogle, I don't know what that is. If you Google zinnias, I mean, in my mind, I think I know what color zinnias come in, but still, I did, just in case, make sure, you know, I'm on the, on the right page. They come in a lot of variations. There are some that are like white with just like little streaks of color in them. Those are really pretty. So, you know, if you wanna do something different, different color scheme, do that and you'll be very inspired. Um, or, <laughs> Catherine, that's true. Yes, she, you know, I don't know if I'd call her daddy's girl. She's super independent. She's our oldest and there were, she was four when I had the second one and then immediately had the third one. So she always was like kind of on her own, you know, like, 
like the big girl, like, okay, Ellie, I need you to, you know, go do these things that you need to do, whatever. She's just always very independent from a young age because she had to be. Okay, I'm trying to find my linen thread. Hold on. I don't know where I put it. And so I think that's what it is. She's just super independent. She likes to have fun. She likes to be surrounded by people. She likes to, you know, like being by herself is like her least favorite thing. So she likes to go, 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 do, 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 be with the people, you know. And uh, she has found her little, she's found her two little groups at school, the art, the art people for sure. And then this outdoor adventure group, she just has loved. Um, now, her daddy definitely is a camper and a hiker and a hunter and a fisher, but we didn't, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't camp when they were kids. So, you know, it's probably in her blood, but she's just, she just is always up for an adventure, that one, just always. She's fearless, brave. You know, I'm scared of everything. I'm scared of heights. I'm scared of roller coasters. I'm scared of all these things. And she just never was like that, which I, I love. Um, this is a Melon Mambo card base. Here's that paper, that designer series paper that we like. And then we'll put just a piece of basic white on the inside. We're gonna just go level one, <laughs> level one decorating of the inside for this card. There is um, these little, these little like dots. And I did just kind of add a couple of those to the inside. And then we will add, we will add um, dimensionals to the back of this. Lots of colors. I know Karen, I love, you know, when Christmas is over, I'm always like desperate for non-Christmas colors. So January, February, March, I'm always like pinks and purples and all the colors we didn't use during the fall. All right, last but not least, some sequins or adhesive back discs <laughs> or I don't know, whatever you have on hand would work. So there you go, a different way to make your Xenia. All right, now I have some bonus projects, but let's talk about first these three that we did. If you want these three as a make and take package, Deadline this week is, again, back to Monday at midnight. I know the Xenia bundle isn't available, but it will be available eventually. So if you want these for later, then maybe order something. Oh, I do need to remind you, with the new catalog coming out on May 1st, that means that this annual catalog will be retiring in April. So you need to make sure you have your re-inkers, your ink refills for your in colors. Um, Sweet Sorbet, Parakeet Party, um, Orchid Oasis, Starry Sky, and Tahitian Tide, okay? Those are the colors that are going away. You need to make sure you have your ink refills, your cardstock, your markers, your blends, all the things. So if you want to put in an order to get the Xenia bundle, that's one thing you can think about. Um, do you have all of those things before they are gone for good? Um, the last chance list will come out March 18th and the discounts of the last chance list will go into effect not until April 9th. So we have some time, but those are the things we know that will be retiring and that usually run out of stock before the end of the catalog, okay? Okay, so here's your make and takes for this week. Here's the host code, all orders over $35 using this host code by Monday at midnight, I'll send you the make and take pack for this, okay? Um, my bonus projects I'll be showing you next week, and I still owe you one um, filled with fun bonus project, the little wagon that I made. I didn't get to that, so I will share that next week as well. Um, but here's some bonus projects. This one we colored, instead of Stampin' Blends, I use, I mean, instead of uh, the watercolor resist, I did Stampin' Blends on that one. Um, this one is just the Xenia cut out of the paper. And then I cut another one and kind of stacked it up like that. So three of them and just kind of like we did with the dies, but just cut them out of pattern paper. And look how bougie the inside of this one is. Um, that's platinum level right there, inside card. <laughs> um, do we have extra of the egg, the, uh, the classes? Um, Judy, email me, okay? 
I think I do, but email me. Um, what else? Where are my other ones? Is this all I have? I thought I had a, this one and this one. And then this one. Now, this is a sneak peek. I have a reward um, little online thing I'm doing for some of my downline. And if that's you, don't look at this next card, okay? Here's this one. I did a white Xenia. All right, you use the dragonflies. Um, and then there's, where's the box? I have a box too. This is part of that too. You'll see it eventually, but this is part of that um, downline. We're calling it our celebration celebration. It was a reward for some of my downline. Okay, that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed these projects. Um, please don't send me nasty mail about the Xenia bundle being unorderable. It's coming back, I promise. It's coming back. You guys have a great weekend. I will not see you for two weeks. There'll be no Facebook Friday next week. Um, I'll be in Houston. Um, so make sure, well, you guys are probably already on Facebook, but I'll be updating here in the Facebook group pictures of things from um, Houston. If you have any questions, email me and I will be back. I think in two weeks, what's the date in two weeks? The 22nd, we're going to do the um, submarine bundle, the sub, the little, the little submarine punch. I think that's what we're going to do when I come back. Okay. All right. You guys have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you in a couple weeks. Thanks everybody. Bye.